Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Grabber. Now, Grabber is a snippet tool for Google. And essentially what it does is that it goes ahead and you can add a snippet or someone else can from a website for a certain answer. And then it will go ahead and put it directly on Google. Now, if any of this sounds interesting to you, then please go ahead and tune in today because that's exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now, I have a really simple question here. JavaScript get array object by ID. Really a question which I probably ask more than I should because I keep forgetting, but I always have the same answer for it. And I really love this answer here. And this is the answer. I think it's probably the best answer for this specific question here. And that's why I have gone ahead and as I always do, go on Stack Overflow and found the answer. And then I want to go ahead and add this to Grabber. And you can go ahead and press Control G. And we'll go ahead and do it with this one here since I've already added the other one. So Control G, I'll go ahead and add this. And you can see this is the question and this is the answer. Now you can go ahead and edit this. So let's say, I don't know, you want it to be array and you didn't like single quotes, so you'd put double quotes here. You can even change the source. Now, here's where I think it's like a little gray zone-ish. And I don't actually know how legal this is because, you know, technically if you change this, you're not giving credit to the original creator, which I don't know exactly how I feel about. So I don't think that they, you should be able to change the source. I guess if you change the code example quite a lot, then it would be your code. But yeah, you know, I don't know. I think it's kind of a gray zone. But anyways, you can also go ahead and add it by this button here click it and it will go ahead and do the same thing. Now to get Grabber installed, all you want to go ahead and do is go on the Chrome web store and go ahead and add it. Or you can also go ahead and add this for Firefox and it will be a very similar process. And once you have installed the extension, you will see this icon up here and you can just click it and you will find the user docs, which specifies essentially what I've gone over in this video and will do. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, and then you can go to your account. Now this is a little weird. First of all, it takes a little time to load. There you go, it loaded. Now I will go ahead and say that I don't really get how this exactly works because you don't have a sign in. You're just able to edit your account settings. But yeah, you can go ahead and edit these settings. And you can see that the one answer which I submitted has already solved 33 problems. Now I posted this well, today, uh, about, I don't know, two hours ago. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and see your code. Now, like I said, it is a bit slow. And it is free, by the way. There's no like paid tier or anything. It's supported by different companies. You know, I don't know how much they make from this. I don't know how much it costs, but it is a pretty good idea. Um, but yeah, you can go ahead and see the answer right here. And uh, you can go ahead and delete it. You can go ahead and edit it. And um, there's a lot of different languages. Essentially, this is any like code problem. And you can see settings right here. You can also go ahead and go to the Grabber community, which is also kind of slow. But when it loads, you can see that there's quite a lot of people here. And you know, it, it's, it's actually pretty cool. But yeah, guys, I think that was everything for today. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.